Sawete, welcome to Beginner's Latin Lesson 3. In previous lessons, we have considered nouns and noun inflections, which are called declensions in Latin. In this lesson, I will be introducing verbs, which are words of action. Verbs typically have a raw form, which is called an infinitive, and can be moulded into various forms to suit a particular grammatical function. Take these two English examples, for instance. Lucy walks to the market and Lucy is writing a letter. Both are present tense sentences, the former in the simple present tense and the latter in the continuous present tense. The verbs have been formed in ways that express two very different meanings and that's not just because writing and walking are two very different ideas. The first could mean that Lucy walks to the market today, something she's doing once and once only, or it could mean that Lucy regularly walks to the market, say as opposed to cycling or getting the bus. The second implies that Lucy is in the ongoing process of penning a letter. We call the inflection of verbs conjugation. A conjugated verb is called a finite verb and it has, been, and it has the following four properties. There is an additional fifth property mood which is a bit more complicated and so I will not be covering it in this lesson. So these four properties are person which can be thought of as the perspective of the person narrating the action, number, how many people are doing the action, number is either singular or plural. There are however pronouns such as no one, nobody, everyone, everybody, and so on, which express ideas of uncountability, but are still treated as singular in number. For example, nobody is home. Is, the verb in this sentence, is the singular third person present tense of to be. We also have tense and aspect, which are related to time, and which I will talk about a bit more later on. And lastly, we have voice, which describes the agent or actor in a given situation. We could say Bob told Sam about the party or Sam was told about the party by Bob. The first sentence is active, the second is passive. And as we will learn later on, Latin has a more concise way of expressing passives than English. So let's discuss tense. Tense describes when an action took place in relation to the present moment. If it's taking place as we speak, is ongoing, or is a regular occurrence, we use the present tense. If it took place some time ago, we use the past tense, and if it is yet to occur, we use the future tense. There are also compound tenses such as the pluperfect and the future perfect, which describe events which have occurred before other events in the past, and events which will have occurred by a certain time in the future, respectively. An example of the pluperfect is, he had already left when she arrived. And an example of the future perfect is, Martin will have prepared the meal by the time the guests arrive. Aspect is a bit more descriptive than tense. It tells us if a certain event in the past, future or present happens once, happens continuously or happens repeatedly. Ideas associated with aspect can also be expressed with adverbs. Person. Person expresses the point of view of the narrator or storyteller. There are three different types. First person. This is used when a person is describing their own actions or the collective actions of a group which includes themselves. Pronouns used are usually I or we. Second person is usually when you're talking to a person or persons about their own actions. So we would use you for both singular and plural. The third person is used when you're talking to another party about the actions of a group that is neither you nor them. So now we're ready to discuss first conjugation verbs in Latin. When we look up a Latin verb, we will see a dictionary entry that gives us the English translation and also four forms of the verb. These are known as the verb's principal parts and are used to identify the class to which it belongs, known as the conjugation, which allows us to use it correctly. Take, for example, ammo. 
the Latin verb for love. Here are its four principal parts. The first one is the first person singular present, I love, amo. The second is the present infinitive to love, amare. The third is the perfect first person singular, I have loved, amawi. And the fourth is the past participle, which translates as having been loved, amatum. The verbs we are going to be focusing on this lesson are from the same class as amo. They're called first conjugation verbs and are characterised by their are, present active infinitive endings, and the are we ending in the third person in the third principal part. It is the last vowel in the second principal part that is typically used to identify the conjugation of a verb in Latin. Latin has four conjugations. So let's start learning some first conjugation verbs. Amo, which we discussed previously, is the verb for to love. Its principal parts are amo, Amare, Amawi, and Amatum. Then we have Voco, which means to call or to summon. Its principal parts are Voco, Vocare, Vocawi, and Vocatum. Then we have Ambulo, which is the verb for to walk or to travel. And its principal parts are Ambulo, Ambulare, Ambulavi, Ambulatum. Next we have laudu, which is I praise. Its principal parts are laudo, laudare, laudawi, laudatum. And then we have do, which is a bit irregular as you can see its third principal part, its present active um perfect is slightly different it doesn't have the are we ending that we're used to so its principal parts are do dare dedi and datum now let's have a go at conjugating one of these verbs in the present tense here we're using amo as the example first we take the second principal part, we remove the re ending to get the present tense stem, and then we add on our endings, which are O for first person singular, S for second person singular, T for third person singular, MUS for first person singular, TIS for second person plural, and NT for third person plural. This gives us all the present active conjugations of amo. So we have amo, I love, amas, you love, singular, amat, he, she, it, loves, amamus, we love, amatis, you plural love, and amant, they love. So next step is try pausing this video to try conjugating the verb uo for yourself in the present tense. How did you do? Did you manage to get all the endings right? We have uo, I help, you us, you singular help, you what? He, she, it helps. You amus. We plural, we help. You artists, you plural help. You want, they help. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There will be a supplementary video for lesson three, which will include first conjugation example sentences and their translations for you to have some more practice.